Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the Excel automation scenario series. In this series, we are looking at the real time Excel scenarios that we encounter while doing the Excel automation in UiPath. Let's see the agenda for this video. In this video, we are going to see how we can append the range in an Excel with the help of UiPath Studio. Post that we are going to see how we can get a dynamic cell reference in Excel UiPath. After that, we are going to append the data to a dynamic range. When I say dynamic range, we want to append the data where the data is not starting from the cell A1 and when the data is starting from some different cell. And all of this we are going to see with the help of our demonstration. To start with the automation, I have an Excel application scope with me and that is pointing to an Excel which I call sample Excel file dot XLS. Let's go back to the Excel and see how it looks like. I am in an Excel sheet and I have two tabs. The first one is data and the second one is append row. Okay, so if I look at the data, so I have a data for product, discount code, unity, unit sold and manufacturing price and I have 19 approximately up to 19 records here. Okay, and I have something called append row. So let's see how we can add this data below this one. So the objective here is we want to just do it manually. Let me do it manually. We what we want to do is we want to just copy this data and and control V. So this is what we want to accomplish. Okay, I Z I just hit a control Z. We want to do the same thing with the help of UiPath Studio. So how we can do that? Okay, let's go back to Studio. First thing first, I take an read range activity. So if you are not sure why we are taking the read range activity, I have a dedicated video on my playlist Excel automation series. So you can watch that video and there you will find all the detailed description about the read range, the data table, what all these things formats and filters everything you will get to know so as of now what we are doing is we are reading the range so the read range uh, I'll just give you a short description read range allow us to read the data and give us the output in the form of a data table so here Excel will ask us which sheet you want to read okay so we want to read the data sheet so I'll specify here data next what is the range I want to read so if you'll see the range is the complete range so I just leave this field to blank and what is the data table at the data table I will just hit ctrl plus K and create a data table called dt underscore source okay so read range is done so what this activity will do it will read this complete data in a data table and we have specified that okay the data which we are reading is having headers so it will add the headers also next if we simply want to append the row here what we can do is we have an activity in UiPath which we call the append range okay so if you will see append range is inside the Excel so that means it will work with inside the Excel application scope I drag and drop the Excel append range here the next append range will ask me where exactly you want to append the range so if I go here the this is my destination so I will just put the sheet name to append row here and the data table so other data table is dt underscore source so let us see what we are doing here we are reading an excel in an excel application scope we are reading the data we are telling the UiPath to read the complete data and once you read the data the output will be in a data source then paste the data and we are telling UiPath that when you append the range so you append it in this sheet and this is the data table okay so in case we don't want the headers we can simply go here and uncheck this option and it will not add the headers okay so let's go ahead and run the automation okay this is the data and this is the append row okay so save everything and run the file okay bot is executing and it has executed let's go back to the excel and we see we have records still 20 and now the 19 records are added here so this was as simple as that right we have directly used an append range activity and we were successfully add the data in an excel sheet 
I will consider this scenario as a good scenario because the data was always available from the A1 and we just used the append range activity and we were successfully able to add this data to here right so now this might not always be the scenario sometimes the data may be present in some other location so let's see how it looks like so I just delete this data okay so now what would happen in some day that this data instead of available from A1 <coughs> can be available from let's say this cell okay let me just do it again control X control V okay so sometime what might happen is this data might be available from this cell and not from here right and uh, assuming that we have some more data here so let me just unhide one more sheet I have a data in sheet 1 and just copy this guy let me just copy so assuming that some other data is also available in the sheet I'll go to append row and paste it here okay so let me just hide this guy again so that we are clear okay so now the previous example this data was available from the a1 and we had to append this data here so what happened excel we used append range and excel pasted it correctly just below this one right so but now if we'll see we we don't have the data available we have the data which we require is from i1 and we have some other data here right so this may be some other data i'll just color this thing to something else okay so this is something else data and we don't want to touch this data we want to append the data to this cell so what we want to do here now i want to do it like this copy and then paste it here right so i'll just delete this again okay so this is what we want to do but now if i use the append range what would happen right so will append range be able to <coughs> accommodate this change or not let's see that okay i'll save everything i'll go back to your path studio the same code if i run it again so the, we are reading from data and the data is getting stored in a data table called dt source we are adding the headers and in the append range we are asking it to append the range okay so this worked perfectly when the data was available from a1 right but now the blue one is in the i column now let's go to UiPath Studio and run it again. I'll go in the debug and run the file. So the bot will execute. It has completed the execution. So if I go back to the Excel, we see the data which we wanted to paste here with the help of append range. Now it is pasting here because we don't have an option to specify that append range that okay you have to append this data right so now to address this problem let's see how we can address this problem with the help of uipath studio and <coughs> with the help of the activities which are available in the uipath studio so definitely append range is not going to work for us because it only expects the data table and the sheet name things to remember here append range only works when the data is available from the a1 and you have the data source it will directly just append the data so it is not working for our case so I'll just remove this one okay so now I again go to the Excel and what we want to do is we want to source so this would be the source and this is the destination for me so the destination is I22 right so how do we do that so the first thing we have to see here is if you will see the this header is fixed right we have to just append the data here so what if I tell you if you just get this data at count so if I just count this data this is approximately up to 19 right so we have to if I ask you okay you tell me as a human where exactly you have to paste the data right so you will tell me that we have to paste the data in this cell which is this cell I 22 right so if there is a way in UI path we are able to get this I 22 then possibly we can paste this data right so let's see how we can get this data so what we will do is I will take one more read range I'll go here and I'll take a read range now so this is the source right so the DT source is exactly correct right we just want to paste this data but now we want to get a destination cell so now this time I will read this sheet copy go back to your path studio and paste it here and now instead of reading the entire data I will read the data from i3 because i2 is having the headers and I will read the data from i3 and I will read this entire data in a data table okay so let's try that one I'll go to the here and in the data table I will just type 
डी टी अंडर स्कोर ख्याल हिट कंट्रोल के डी टी अंडर स्कोर डी एस टी डेस्टिनेशन ओके एंड लेट मी डू वन थिंग आई विल पुट अ मैसेज बॉक्स हेयर एंड आई विल जस्ट ट्राई टू प्रिंट द अकाउंट डेस्टिनेशन डॉट रोज डॉट काउंट डॉट टू स्ट्रीम सो लेट्स ट्राई टू एग्जीक्यूट दिस फ्लो एंड सी वट एग्जैक्टली द अकाउंट एक्सेल गिव्स मी ओके सो आई गो है एंड रन द फाइल आई गॉट अकाउंट ऑफ एटीन ओके सो इफ आई रीड इट फ्रॉम हेयर सो टिल हेयर द काउंट इज एटीन राइट एंड वट वी वॉन्ट टू हैव इज वी वॉन्ट टू हैव ट्वेंटी टू ओके सो नाउ वट वी हैव टू डू इज आई विल टेक एन असाइन एक्टिविटी हिट कंट्रोल प्लस के टेक अ स्ट्रिंग क्रिएट अ स्ट्रिंग वेरिएबल कॉल्ड रेंज ओके एंड वट वुड बी द रेंज नाउ राइट सो द रेंज वी रिक्वायर इज i22 right but i cannot always write i22 right so how we can do that so this i will be fix okay string variable then this 22 right so if you remember we have got a count of 18 right so the data table underscore destination dot rows dot count this count is 18 and we have to make it 22 so 18 19 20 21 22 so we have to add 4 to this count okay so now it will create i plus this count that is 18 plus 4 22 and i will just make this to two string so that the string variable is able to accommodate okay let's check the data type for str range str range is the type string okay cool so str range is now i 22 okay i'll just do one thing i'll just copy paste the message box here and now i want to verify the cell okay so now if i run this flow i should get two message boxes first would should give me 18 and the next should give me the new range where exactly i want to paste the data i go here and run the file i am expecting two message back boxes the first one is 18 i hit okay and the next one is i22 so if we just go back again how do we get to i22 i go to properties so i plus dt rows so this was 18 plus 4 that makes it to 22 dot two string so now str range is having i22 i'll get rid of this message box and let it be here next thing we want to paste the data to i22 so to write the data now we are not using the append range because we have seen append range is always pasting the data from the first cell so what we'll do is we'll take a write range write range okay and if you don't know about this properties of write range at all you can always visit to my video that is on the excel automation series i'll put the link in the description and you can refer that one so as of now we have to write the data in the write range which is the sheet the sheet name is append row i go here i type the sheet range to append row now the data table the data table is the source data table the source data table for us if you remember is this source because we have not changing the source right the source was always correct the source is coming in the data table called dt source so here we'll write dt source and now the cell where exactly we want to write the data so we want to write the data in if i go here in the append row we want to write the data in this i22 and we already have a variable called str range so i copy this variable remove this and paste it here so this way we are telling ui path to write the data in the str range i'll save everything and let me just uh, remove this message box from here also and i will put a message box at the end which says completed completed okay so let's visit the workflow once again what we want to do is we want to copy this data from this range and we instead of pasting it here to somewhere we using append range was pasting it here now we want to actually paste it here i22 so we had a task of getting this cell dynamically so what we did in uipath we read the source range that was directly using the 
read range we store the data in a, a data table called dt underscore source after that to get the dynamic range what we did is we again read the append row from i3 because i3 was having the headers okay now i3 because this was the header so we started it from i3 okay now if i go here in the properties what we stored we stored it in a dt underscore destination we took the count and we found that the count was coming as 18 so if we uh, so this count uh, rows dot count was coming as 18 so why we added 4 because we wanted to have it in i22 so this variable is having now i22 now we are not using the append range we are using the right range append row this is the sheet name this is the cell and this is the data table so the data table now is dt source just make sure to pass the correct data table in the read range in the right range so if i do uh, change here let's say dt space and f if i pass dest destination also it won't give an error because it expects expects and data table so as a developer just make sure that you pass the correct data table once everything is done we want to pass a message box that say completed okay let's save everything okay and let's run the file okay completed let's go back to the excel I'll hit OK and you will see the data is correctly pasted in the cell which we wanted and it has not pasted here right this is how we append the range when the append range activity in UiPath does not work let us see one more example let's say if I again execute this flow now the bot should paste the data from this cell so this cell is now what is this cell i40 right so last time it was i22 so the now the data is already available till here so the now the bot should paste the same data from this guy i40 okay so to validate that thing so i will just in the product let me just put my name here okay so now what should happen is, is if i run this flow now so this data starting from mukesh should be available from i40 okay and we don't have to change anything in the workflow because this is a dynamic thing okay let's go to the main and i'll go here and run the file okay it says completed because we have put a message box hit okay and you will let me go back to the excel and you will see this data is available here right so this is how we handle the dynamic ranges in an excel while pasting the data so this workflow will work as expected because this header is always fixed in future if this header changes to somewhere else then it might cause a problem to fix that thing what we can do is what this ranges this count everything can be stored in a configuration file in which we can specify this i3 in a config file and then read that config file here and just pass the variable so in future if the layout changes from let's say here Control X to Control V. If it changes from here to here, we don't have to change the entire automation. We just have to update the configuration file for and change this value to I3. Now it would be instead of I3. We'll just write it to N3 and the N3 and the bot will take it accordingly. So this is how we use the right range activity to paste the data dynamically in the scenarios where the append range is not working. That was all for this video. I'll wrap this video here. Let's have a quick recap. In this video, we have seen how we can append the data in an Excel where the data is starting from the cell A1. Post that, we have seen how we can paste the data when the data is not starting from a particular cell. We have seen how we can make a cell dynamic and how we can paste the data. We have used an activity here called append range. To know more about the activity, we can always navigate to docs.uipod.com and read the official documentation here. I'll put the link in the description as well. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation.